So, a few days ago I got to experience the brand new maze at Thor Park Frightness for 2022 survival games. In this video, for you guys, I'm going to be reviewing the maze, also telling you what it's like inside, telling you what happens and whether it's worth that really hefty price tag that does come with it. And as a warning, of course, this will contain maze spoilers. I'm obviously going to be going over what happens inside the maze, so if you don't want to know, click off the video, put it in your watch later and come back once you've uh, done the maze. It really, really mean a lot if you can still watch this video anyway. Uh, but without further ado, let's get straight into this review. The maze actually starts with you going through like this short tunnel with some blue LEDs around you which I thought was quite cool and then you go straight into the first proper room of the maze you've got this actor speaking to you saying like welcome to survival game stuff like that uh, like proper shouting at your face though I was in I was actually in on my own as well in the group so it was just me no one else and then they've got like these six cages I think it was I think it was six anyway and they put I, from far as I'm aware they put you into pairs obviously I was on my own I've only seen it with other people on their own at press night so I don't know what happens, it might be different for you guys when you've done it, but I got put on my own on a cage, and if this bit wasn't scary, the separation wasn't really a fuss for me, it was on my own anyway, I chose to go on my own, the stuff, and was like, you want to go on your own, I was like, yeah, sure, whatever, uh, and then obviously, this actor in the room just tells you to watch his screen at the front of the room, and after every single sentence in this screen, there would be a, like a flash of strobe lightning, and then the room would all go dark or whatever, this happened, I think, three times, and every single time an actor would appear in front of you, so on the first time, uh, one appeared in, just right right in front of me, like putting their hands through the the, the, the metal fence or whatever. Uh, second time, one came to the side of me. Third time, one came in front of me, and they're all circled around me, which I actually found quite intimidating, quite scary though. It's good, good sort of scary though. It was good. And then um, so one behind me, and then all of a sudden on the last flash, I had one. I literally I got pulled pulled back and into the first like room of like the actual proper like what's actually going on in the story and survival game sort of thing. And they started shouting at me, saying, go, go, go. I was like, all right, okay, okay. I go around this corner, no other scares, it's just quite dark. And then I get into like this little checkpoint room that says level one. I had a quick turn around, looked at all those details in the room and then progressed straight through. And then there was a room with like some cages and some like dead people, like fake dead people parts or whatever inside of some cages or whatever. There was an actor holding a hammer. I got a nice little scare there. And went to the next room, it was like some brown, like rusty ruled sort of thing. And then also a hospital room. And actually these two rooms were actually had no actors in them at all, which I found a bit weird, but I just went straight through anyway. Maybe I walked through too quick and they didn't get set up quickly. That might've been my fault, but I'm just saying from my experience of what happened. And then there was the next checkpoint and I looked through round again quickly, looked at all those quick little details. This time there was actually something on the screen of like an actor, like almost like going straight at it on someone like in a pre-recording thing that they've done before the maze opened. And then I went into the next room and it was completely pitch black. Like I had no clue what was going on. I was standing around in my hands, like trying to figure out where I need to go. And then I like trying to feel for those like flat things that you get in between each scene in a Friday Night's Maze. I did eventually find them and got through to the next bit. And next thing I know, there's four actors all in a line, just set and ready to go straight at me. And I don't even get a chance to go around the corner. They're coming towards me, circling around me, and they're like proper shouting in my face, grabbing me, everything. That was, that was probably the best bit of this entire maze. That was, I probably explained it really poorly, but that was actually really, really intense. And that was actually really, really scary. So once they've all gone, I've gone around the corner, they're doing like, their random stuff, touching me or whatever. And then one of them followed me or whatever, and then just like kind of went back and set into position again for the next group. Uh, this lasted about 20 seconds, as I said, and yeah, it was quite scary because they had like these red masks on or whatever. That's all I could see. The room was pretty much pitch pitch black apart from like a, a little flashing little light source at the top. Went around the corner, as I said, and then there was like this room with like blood on the walls and those flat things that I was just talking about. And uh, a week, like same sort of effect strobe lighting, but it was a slower effect and it still disorientated me anyway. It still did the job. Uh, and then I walked out and I was into the massive proper strobe maze section, like the proper finale sort of section, which is like, it's huge. Like, seriously, I think I went round in circle at least one, once or twice. May have actually been twice, I think, I went round that entire room. I think. <laughs> don't don't hold me, I had no clue. There was strobes going off, there was actors following me, chasing me, going round. They had, like, the hammers and the stuff like that, all those, like, red masks on uh, yeah, bearings, I had no clue of my bearing. I think I went around two times and said, I don't know, I, I have no clue, to be honest. And then towards the end of this area, actually, an actor literally grabbed me on my shoulders and just pushed push me through and grab, like, literally grabbed me, pushed me round into the next section or whatever. And then I got round and there was this woman and she was like, come in here, you'll be safe or whatever. She like shut this door and she was like, uh, well done for surviving the games or whatever, here's your reward. Uh, and then there was another one of them like LED tunnel things. And I believe I watched some press night videos and people getting chased out. That may have just been because it's press night. They wanted to ramp it up or whatever. 
But I, unless I was completely oblivious, I had no actor in that room, which kind of sucked, to be honest. But I, there was like a massive air cannon at the end, which if you guys done the major, you'll probably know it, it probably would have gone off. Uh, which actually made me jump, because that was so loud for me. Uh, but yeah, I did get a minor scare at the end there, really. Obviously, air cannon, slightly different scare to like having an actor scare you. It's a shame I don't have an actor there. Maybe there was, and I just said I was oblivious. But uh, yeah, that's my survival games experience. That's my review. Basic. That's not my review, but that's what happened inside my one run through that I've done so far. I'm planning to do some more run throughs uh, before the end of the season, uh, but this is just my first review. So, you know, my opinions could change. I won't be doing another review for every single time I do it, but my opinions could change. And I've got a video planned for like, no, like early November sort of time. So just keep an eye out for that one. This will, that will include more stuff about survival games, whether obviously you'll be able to see whether my opinion changes. So yeah, overall I really enjoyed the maze. Had some great scares at some at some moments, and that's my keyword there. Some moments. Uh, it's just yeah, the scares weren't consistent enough compared to other stuff like Creek Freak or trailers. I had a couple rooms where it was empty, which you don't get in the other two mazes like Creek Freak trailers, whatever. Uh, as a free flowing maze that obviously it's labelled as really really intense like max sensory rating which i i think is just about right max scare rating which is probably right if you have actors in those rooms i expect there to be actors in those rooms it may have been because i went on a friday they may have not had all the actors in but i would have thought they would have done anyway but you know i might have just gotten lucky i'm just giving my opinion here if you guys had four actors in all those rooms let me know i would like to share some opinions with you guys in the comments that would really be cool Set design was also nowhere near as good and as detailed as Creek Freak or trailers. Trailers and Creek Freak, I think, are probably gold standard for what set design should be like in Friday Night's Mansions, especially Super Spark. Like, trailers, that is so good. I absolutely love it. Uh, so I don't enjoy it as much as, like, Creek Freak or survival games. Sorry, Creek Freak or trailers. But I still really enjoyed it. And obviously, the final thing I want to quickly talk about is that hefty price tag. Third year now of mazes being paid for add-ons for Friday Night's. Obviously, we had Roots of Evil on Platform 15 2020, which were just appalling i think it was like 20 pounds for those two i know it was covid year but they they were they were stinkers they were not great and then last year we had uh trailers creek freak and platform i think that was 26 pound i want to say maybe 24 26 pound they were really good i thought platform was a bit up and down it always has been but i did have a really good run through my last run through of it last year obviously this year we've got uh trailers creek freak uh, survival games and then also the scary experience as well uh, the audio thing which i'm yet to actually do yeah i'm not i'm real i'm not supportive of upcharge attractions for friday nights i don't like it maybe containment like a couple of years ago uh, that that's that's fine that wasn't even that expensive i think that was like six to eight pound or whatever i think but yeah like i remember just being able i remember uh 2019 i think it was like the second day of operation or whatever for friday nights i got around on creek creek i think four or five times because there was no queue and obviously now you can't, you can't, unless you get a lucky staff member that's really nice, that will just let you keep going around, which sadly they don't really do that, to be honest. You're not going to get more than one run through in a day on the maze unless you're like absolutely loaded. I'm not, I pay for the mazes once, but I'm not going to pay twice, three times or whatever in the same day or whatever. Maybe not even at all across the whole event. But yeah, uh, the normal ticket is £10, £8 for an annual pass holder or hotel guest. So it's slightly lower. I'm talking about value for money, it just about reaches it. But if I'm being perfectly honest, if you're going to pay eight, ten pound for a maze, I'd recommend doing trailers or Creek Freak or something. I think obviously they're better mazes, as I just said. They're better theme, consistent amount of intensity and scares. But honestly, survival games are still good. And my overall score, I'm going to give it a really good solid eight out of ten. I I did really enjoy it. I think if it's packed full of actors, when I next, hopefully if I next time do it. I think it probably could rise up and get onto that same sort of level or maybe just 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 a little bit more below uh, Creek Freak or trailers. It's a great experience, as I said, but it does fail to reach those heights of those other two mazes at this year's event. That's all for this review today, guys. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. It will really, really mean a lot. Hopefully, uh, I've been really going out with Friday Night stuff so far this year. At the time watching this, you're going to have free Scare Zone videos coming out. We're also going to have the Birthday Bash video coming out soon. And also the Legacy video. I've still yet to record an Amity High thing because both shows got cancelled on the one time that I've been so far. But yeah, I've been really enjoying doing this Friday Night's content so far for a week or whatever. So if you can enjoy, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you know if I new videos come out. It really, really mean a lot to me. We're getting close to 400 subscribers. Maybe get to 400 subscribers before the end of the year. That'd be really, really nice. and be a great achievement for me and make me feel very accomplished in myself. But anyway, without further ado, I hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.